president and dean of Pastors Time International Bible College, where spiritual education is affordable, quality, and empowering. For more information, please visit us or contact us at Pastors Time Bible College. Dot com. Once again, that's Pastors Time Bible College dot com. Or you can email us at PTI Bible College at Gmail dot com. That's PTI Bible College at Gmail dot com. Once again, thank you all for tuning in to Jerry Roy's Live Worldwide Christian Media iHeart, Spotify, and, and I'd like to remind you all out there, this is a multi-award-winning show, amen, multi-award-winning show, praise God, that serves the nation around the world in powerful spiritual education, Bible teaching, dynamic, world-class, world-class Christian music video showcasing talented and gifted indie artists and home of the award-winning national TV broadcast show on WATC. 57 Atlanta Live, my journey with Paula G. You know what? I want, I'm going to bring in our producer. He's going to give you all some updates on this. And we're going to bring in this dynamite, dynamite person. I'm going to introduce her. Amen. But let me say a prayer. And we're going to come in right in with our producer. And he's going to give us some updates. Praise God. I just want to uh, just uh, open up the show. Amen. With our welcome from Pastor's time. Praise God. Father God, we come in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, would come on this glorious day, first and foremost, to say thank you. We thank you, oh, God, and we ask you to bless all those around the country, oh, God, who is thankful for you. But most importantly, God, for those, Lord, who are not fortunate enough, who is not fortunate to have a home, those who may be a victim of domestic violence that are out in shelters right now, the homeless, oh, God, and old master, the senior, some of our elderly, they're hungry. Oh, God, Father, we ask you to just touch us all. Just touch us on tonight to help someone on Thanksgiving. Help someone less fortunate than ourselves. Take them a plate somewhere. Take them some food. Drop some food. Just visit someone. And, oh, God, we thank you once again for this powerful Positive Power platform right here on Jerry Roy's Live. And we thank you for our speak, our guest on tonight, Mrs. V Speak Life. Amen. We ask you to touch her, her family, and most importantly, oh God, relax her on tonight and just give her the spirit and give her the love, oh God, Father, to touch someone out there tonight. Once again, this is our prayer. And we thank each and every one of you all for tuning in. Once again, we ask for all your prayers out there on tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, amen. Without further ado, praise God, our producer, Jerry Royce. He will bring you all up to date on some powerful things that are going on on Positive Power. Hey, what's going on, Dr. Kelly, family, and uh, guests? Yeah, we just had Miss V on last night. That's Powerful young lady, and wow. uh, we're looking forward to meeting. She's right down in your neck of the woods, Doc, right in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, so. Right, um, all right. Hey, Amen. We're going to we gonna have to hook up. We got to oh, connect. Yeah, yeah I told her we, gonna, we got to invite her when we have the next meet and greet because we have fun. Even though Batman is, you yes. know, over here in the Charm City and you guys were, you know, having all the good fun remotely, we had a good time. We had a real good time. <laughs> but we're going to be there yes, sir. this next go round. That's right. Batman will be in town. All right, um, All quick right. updates. Um, we're getting ready for uh, my, the award-winning My Journey. That's right. Uh, right now, uh, WATC is uh, pushing hard for programming because Thanksgiving is around the corner, so they're trying to get everything up and running. So we'll be an encore for My Journey this week, which was a good show. So check it out. You get a chance to yes, see sir. some live performances by, I believe, Kent Osborne. Doing his thing, you know, right. Christian hip hop artists. They just came back from from the Bahamas. Him and Dr. Trinell and Re. So the whole You First group was out there. Yeah. I think I think Slim Vizy was out there too, and it looked like they had a great time. Uh, Kent, uh, they saw they had uh, the young people were out there enjoying the music and they ministering. So that was awesome, you know, getting out there, uh, you know, sharing our music abroad. All right, so shout out to uh, You First yeah. uh, Management. With uh, Dr. Trinell. All right. That's my manager. That's right. Also, yes, PTI. Sir. That's right. We, we're we promoting PTI Bible College. Open enrollment. So if you guys are interested in, um, in getting your credits again, like Dr. Kelly said, it's affordable, quality, can't express more quality uh, education. Hallelujah. That's right. 
This right, these principles are based on uh, the, the Harvard School of Theology, correct, Doc? Right, Harvard? Absolutely, amen. Universal, universal teaching without walls. That's right. Absolutely. That's right. So, uh, you know, and like you said, uh, you can hit them up at either Pastor's Time at Yahoo.com. And, Doc, you, so you got PTI Bible um, College at gmail.com and set up already? I didn't. Oh. Absolutely, yes, sir. That That is the student uh, enrollment and international as well, amen, for those okay. who wish you just uh, email us at uh, PTI at gmail.com. Yes, sir. PTI Bible College at gmail.com. Okay. Yes, sir. So I got to get that on the website then. Okay. All right. So the website yes, is sir. up. So come on by and visit us. We got a couple courses out there, but we got many, many more that we're about to uh, launch. So, uh, you know, don't be shy. It's time to get your education so you can push ahead and learn more about our Savior, Jesus Christ. Also, um, Late Night with Jervis Live, the TV show is, is going to uh, next level. That's right. Cousin Z going to be here. Yeah. That's right. A lot of you are familiar with Zenobia. Samson Zenobia is a playwright right here in uh, Charm City. That's right. She's a former makeup artist, Ooh. and she's actually she writes plays. And she actually uh, she's writing a play that's about to be released with Dr. Fred Newsom. That's right. So she's going to be here in the studio with us, hopefully tomorrow. I've got I to gotta reach out to her again. I think she's coming tomorrow. Also, Dr. Fred Newsom has launched his promotion promotion company. You guys are looking for, um, I'm talking about a lot of, you need a lot of radio right now. Hit him up. That's right. He's, he's, he's up and running. He, uh, he told me the other day he's taking on clients. So check him out. He has a lot of this guy has a lot of education in this industry. He's he um, was a committee board member with the Stellars, uh, familiar yes. with the Grammys. He's done stuff with them. He has his own award show. He actually just completed his twenty third award show right here in Charm City. So uh, hit him up if you're looking for some representation for promotion. And also here at Positive Power, you look you need web commercial promotions. Come on to Charm City, hang out with the Batman. That's right. We, uh, matter of fact, we just picked up a new client, Dr. Dr. Terrell Jenkins, uh, Life Coaching School of Man. Arkansas. That's right. They, they they take students, if you're in that area or the Atlanta area, and you're looking for uh, certification in life coaching, hit up Dr. Terrell Jenkins. All right? I know he'd love to have you. All right. So that's pretty much it, Doc, because, you know, everybody is kind of in holiday mood right now. So we, uh, we just trying to put out as many shows as we can to the networks and remember guys uh all of our shows are, are, are being launched on comcast xfinity so if you're interested in becoming a guest uh you can either hit up me or paula g that's right we're booking for uh gospel gospel music magazine with summer uh mvp with sky sky I'll be here uh for christmas so if you're in town you want to get on her show be a guest hey hit us up uh, all of our shows are streaming on xfinity on Xfinity, Comcast, as well as some of the larger internet television platforms. And you're talking about Apple, Hulu, and um, what's the other one, Doc? Roku. That's right. The big boy. Roku. That's right. Roku. Man. And you got a radio show and you want more exposure. Of course, this is an international award-winning program. That's right. We're taking on more clients. If you want to go live or you want to go on demand, let us know. We're on Spotify, iTunes, and our heart radio and Spreaker Radio International. All right, Doc, that's it for me. Have a good show. Praise. Thank you. God Praise. Praise God. Robot, can you can you show our producers some love out there, Robot? Just show them some love. You're listening to Do This Love Worldwide Podcast. There you go. Hallelujah. Worldwide Podcast. That's what I'm talking about. Once again, we thank all of our listeners. We thank all our viewers by Facebook. We thank all of our armed, ser- armed service forces around the country. We thank you. We salute you all for your service, your sacrifice. And most important, we can't, can't forget about those spouses, the military spouses. They do a lot of services for their families, for the community. So we, we thank them. We thank the military spouses as well. Amen. My younger sister, my baby sister, was a military spouse for over 18 years. Amen. Uh, but we lost her through some uh, complication health complications but most importantly we thank them and we salute those those military spouses amen amen not only that 
those men and women around the world, they are worthy to being saluted. Amen. Are you all ready for a powerful show tonight? Let's get this. Let's get this on. We have a powerful guest that's waiting in the background for us. We can ready to pass the mic to her. An anointing global model. Amen. Here, uh, here is here with us tonight. Amen. Her powerful words, and she can say it best. Are the more we speak life, the more we will see positive outcome manifest. This anointed and vibrant, amen, uh, woman of God is powerful, powerful motivator, amen. She is a sincere servant, a leader whose message is, of course, speak life, not strife. She is the former uh, science and math educator and is equipped with over two decades of combi combined support professional experience working in corporate America and enhancing the lives of the youth and family. And another thing that I found outstanding about this, this, this remarkable uh, woman of God, she is, she is now all about developing chemistry with the masses and showing domestic violence survivors how to thrive and gain. And she'll explain more of that, amen, on tonight. We have it all set up, amen. And uh, showing, the, showing domestic violence survivors how to thrive and gain positive self-awareness, worth, and empowerment, amen. She's also the founder and executive director of Shift Masterpiece Incorporation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that serves and supports domestic violence survivors, families, and at risk youth. V Speak Life is a change of agent who teaches life skills, leadership, anti bullying awareness, and legacy building. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, amen. Welcome to Pastor's Time on Jerry Roy's Live Worldwide Christian Media. Mrs. V, speak live. Amen. Who is Mrs. V? I'm passing the mic to you. <laughs> well, no pain, no shackles, no pain, no strife, no misery, no worry, no grief, no plight, no burden, no guilt, no shame, no fight. The struggle is over. We're here with Dr. Kelly. It's time, guys, to speak life. Hello, Woo. everyone. How are you doing? We are doing fine. You go right ahead, ma'am. She's fired up. Go ahead, ma'am. Tell us who, who is Miss V Speak Life. The mic is yours for the next hour, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Who, who is Miss V? Yes, ma'am. Wow, yes, ma'am. We're gonna throw so a little. We're gonna throw a little Bible in there, but an honor to you, ma'am. Uh, I am very courteous, amen, about getting the floor to our. I would guess very courteous right here on Positive Power, amen. We set the example for just making our guests feel as though they're at home, your family, amen. Who is Miss V Speak Light? Talk to our wow. listeners, ma'am. Bless you. Well, I am actually one of the quietest persons that you'll actually ever meet oh. in, in, in person. When I yes, speak, I have a purpose behind my words. Oh, I yeah. am one of of silence in in most cases i only speak mm -hmm. when it's absolutely necessary as it is on tonight my job is to oh, empower Lord. the masses and to speak life into others to make them feel excited about life and all those things that god has in store for us my job is to help everyone take a minute to pause reflect rejuvenate and feel encouraged with words of comfort, words of prayer, and, and also helping them understand that that special dialogue that they have with, the, with our maker is one of importance. And that's, that, that's my job, is to speak life, not strife. And I say that because the more we speak life, the more positive outcomes will manifest in each of our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Just to take a minute to reflect. That's awesome. That is very awesome. That is not only is it awesome, ma'am, it, it also shows who you are as a person, as a woman of God, an anointed woman of God. And I like the way you said that, you know, um, as you was coming back to share with us with who you are. Basically, you said, I, I'm actually a quiet person. And I like that because sometimes we speak power through our silence. And that is, yes. that, is, that is just awesome, ma'am. Empowering the masses, taking a minute to reflect 
Yes, ma'am. I had a, I thank my producer, Mr. Jerry Royce, amen, for providing me with some of your commentary and, you know, just a little bit of your background, but no one can share it better than you. No one can share that better than you. You are an advocate, ma'am, a powerful supporter of domestic violence. Is that correct? That is correct. That is oh, correct. And, oh, you know, my, my story is one that I share. I'm an author. I've just published yes, my first book. With Congratulations. My story. Thank you so much. Thank Amen. you. It's, it's exciting to be able to share this story. And I actually just told Jerry Royce on last night that a lot of people have a misunderstanding of someone sharing a story of this caliber. Yes, I share my immediate experience with domestic violence, but it's not necessarily for me. If it were, if the story was for me, I would not have published it. I would have kept it to myself and just allowed it to be my personal uh, therapy. Uh, but Great it God. was meant to be an outlet and a source, a resource for individuals going through the storm, those family members that are surrounding that person that's going through mm -hmm. or went through the storm, and also for the community of people who have no clue as to what happens to someone in these circumstances. So it's not just for uh, the victim, the survivor, the family. This is a book for everyone. Amen. It's a, it's a book for everyone. It's a book for everyone. What, what is the name of your book, Amen, so we can support it? The name of your book yes. and where can we find it at? Yes, sir. The title of the book is Shifted Masterpiece, a story of love and horror in Savannah, Georgia. And you can purchase the book at www.vspeaklife.com. That's V s p e a k l i f e dot com or you can find it on amazon if there is an ebook available for purchase on amazon and also a hard copy for you to purchase right there on amazon just search shifted masterpiece a story of love and horror in savannah georgia yes that is awesome that is awesome mrs v arthur mrs v can you take a few minutes ma'am and just kind of open up with us in your book and I, and I thank you for explaining that so eloquently amen uh, you're, you're, you don't come from domestic violence this is more like empowering this is more or less empowering your book if, if, I, if I say that correctly did I say that correctly you, you did that, that is correct Absolutely. It, it, it's a story of empowerment for sure. It, it, I do go into detail of some of the more nightmarish types of, uh, of events that occur, but uh, mm -hmm. it's, that's not the entire principle behind the book. The book is Absolutely. about what happens after you get out of the storm and how go. to overcome the many obstacles that you face, the shame, mm -hmm. the embarrassment, the hurt, the misunderstanding and, and wanting oh. to know and do better. How do you move on forward, above, and beyond all the turmoil that you face in your life? That's what mm -hmm. the book is about. That's the title, Shifted Masterpiece. Shifted meaning you've experienced a change, but a masterpiece because that's what God has designed you to be. He said he knew you in the womb, so you, he yeah. knew all these things were going to happen before you did, and he knew how it was going to turn out. He said he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards us, thoughts of peace and of prosperity to give us an expected end. And with that, that's why I titled it, titled the, or that's the name of the nonprofit is Shifted Masterpiece and also the, the book. It, 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 there is perfect meaning there once you understand uh, the term shifted. It's, it's change, transformation, just like the caterpillar that turned into the butterfly. Come on, sister. Come on. Amen. <laughs> metamorphosis. Come on, sister. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an absolute metamorphosis. Metamorphosis, yes, exactly. Absolutely. This is this is awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to push you on tonight, girl, because you going somewhere with this. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey, Amen. Amen. Uh, Arthur, Mrs. V, John sixteen and thirty three, and this is for our listening audience. Amen. It declares, and I like this, the shifted masterpiece. 
John 16 and 33, it declares, and, you, and you're familiar with this, in the world you should have tribulations. That's what, it, yeah. that's what I'm feeling that you're speaking of. And this is just a prophetic spirit that God is speaking with uh, Dr. Kelly right now at the moment. About, about 60 seconds. Let me, let, let me, let me kind of just push you a little bit. Hey, man, you said in the world you should have tribulations. But be of good cheer. This sounds like Mrs. V. This sounds like you. God said, amen, his son said, I have overcome the world. But the question for us as believers, and this is where I feel like that your position is coming from. The question for us as believers is not if we will have, amen, not, not that we might have trials and tribulations, but we are going to have tribulations. The question is, what should we do when we encounter various trials and tribulations? That's out of my book, a man turning your trials into victory. Pastor's time, turning your trials into victory. A man, I want you to inbox me. Just inbox, inbox me, or I think I have your information. I'm, I'm going to get this to you as quick as possible. This uh, okay. Pastor's time, turning your trials into victory. That is a powerful book. And I am in turn going to pick up Shifted Masterpiece. And I want everyone out there, yeah, is that correct? Shifted Masterpiece? Shifted Masterpiece, the subtitle is Shifted Masterpiece, a story of love and horror in Savannah, mm-hmm. Georgia. I want everyone out there to go get this book. Go, go, go pick up this Thank book. You. Shifted Masterpiece, hey amen, around the, around the country, UK. Great Britain, right now, go go. They they listen to us a lot, Amen. In the UK, y'all y'all go support this book right now. Japan over there in Africa, just just go get it, just go get it. Jerry Royce has provided a powerful platform to help authors, and I and I'm sharing with you. I am a living witness, ma'am. I I'm just sharing with you, just to have a platform like this, Amen. To voice your ministry. It will help lives around the world. Amen. They hear you out there. They hear yes. you out there. Amen. Share with us. Share with share with your listening on. Share with our listening audience. Amen. What are some of the leading causes of domestic violence? You know, just 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 you don't have to go into a lot. What are some of the leading causes? Amen. And then we'll go right into what are some of the adverse reactions. And I'm going to help you push this on tonight because that's what I write about. Okay, you know, that's an awesome question. I'm glad you asked. And we talked about this a little bit on on last night. And, you know, we talked on prevention as as well. But domestic violence is a glorified version of bullying. Talk to us, sister. So bullying, in, in, in bullying, you have one person who exerts all of their power over another individual. And it can occur in different forms. It can be physical, mental, verbal, spiritual, which that's really need to uh, we need to talk about, and also financial. It hits it hits mm-hmm. people in in many different facets. For me personally, I experienced all forms of abuse by my abuser, and it's not something that I would wish on my um, worst enemy. In the in the physical, and that's where we get into the bigger piece of the detail or of of the definition. When it becomes physical, that's when it becomes criminal activity, because at that point you have touched or put your hands on another individual. So Robert Fulgram wrote a book called I, Everything I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. And in that mm-hmm. book, it's a very short read. He mentions different things that we should do as, as kids. Raise your hand to speak. Uh, and, 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 you know, subtle, subtle things. All those mm-hmm. rules that you learned in kindergarten. One of those rules was to keep your hands to who? Yourself. Yes, Keep your hands to yourself. And, it, you know, we we have gotten away from some of these rules as, as we've grown into adulthood. We've matured in, in different ways. But that rule right there, 
should never go away. Keep your hands to yourself. I tell my son when we go in the store, just put your hands in your pocket. Put your hands in your pocket. <laughs> that yes, way you don't have to worry about knocking anything down or feeling excited about seeing different things and having the urge to, to run away with, with, with something. Just keep your hands, keep your hands to yourself when you're around others and you'll have no problems because we invade each other's space. We in, invade our, in each other's privacy and without their permission. When, it, when, when you don't have permission to be in a person's personal space, proximity, that's when it becomes an issue. That means that you're violating that individual. And it, it's it's unacceptable and not allowed. You know, back in the 80s and the 90s, we had the big um, just say no movement. Absolutely. And we learned a lot more about date rape and, you know, other things that we, we don't talk about enough in, in, in the home. You know, we, now we have the big Me Too movement and women and men are coming out about their personal stories and dealing with people that have violated them. But one thing that we don't talk enough about is when an intimate partner of yours violates you in your own home. This is someone that you're in love with. This can be someone that absolutely adores you or mm -hmm. you uh, absolutely adore and they take advantage of of you and manipulate you in, in various forms. So there again, the different forms you have are physical, mental, verbal, spiritual, and financial uh, abuse. And one, any one person can experience all forms. And that's where we have to begin educating and teaching others that it's what I said in the beginning is that it's a glorified version of bullying. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's bigger because it's the, the bully is someone that you're in love with. Mm. Wow. Wow. Someone that you're in love with, someone whom you have entrusted your personal self with. Someone okay. whom you have no no thoughts of them taking advantage of you for the Correct. most part. Amen. Correct. Of, oftentimes, narcissistics, narcissistics have those, those we, we should say many times a narcissistic, amen, have those types of characteristics and behaviors. Amen. I'm quite sure you agree. Amen. But they're hidden. They're Correct. subtly subtly hidden amen this is very powerful now we're not going to stay on we're not going to stay on this long amen because you 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 started out the gate uh miss v excited <laughs> amen i want you to say and you know excited. what <laughs> so, no, I, um, I am still excited. Now, yes, there you are. are moments yeah. where you absolutely have to be serious and your voice has to be heard. And yes, ma'am. We have to speak clearly enough to get that yes. message and point across. But that's my whole point, and that's the whole point and purpose of the book, to help people understand that they don't have to stay down in Come the on, dump sister. about all of the things that they face, all of the turmoil and the sorrow. That's why I opened up with what I said. I said, no pain, no worry, no grief, no strife. The yes, struggle sir. itself is over. It's time for you to speak life. And remember to speak life, not strife. Remember to speak life and not strife. Amen. Woo! Amen. Talk to the nation real quickly. Amen. What are some of those signs? The, what, what, you know, what are some of those signs, amen, in that relationship, amen? In my, in my book, I often speak about, I use the description in, on pastor's time, turn your trials into victory. I, I describe a narcissistic person's behavior, the characteristic of a wolf, amen. But in oh, shifted wow. master, yes, ma'am, shifted wow. masterpieces, amen. And your, what are some of the signs that that's, is there early? In that, in those type of relationships, but they just don't see them. Miss V, help somebody subtle. out tonight. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, subtle, talk, yeah talk there, there are subtle, subtle, subtle things that you just do not realize or recognize until you put it all together. So, for example, you may run across someone that does not like your outfit. 
Mm. It's something simple. They, but the real issue is that they don't like themselves. So, uh, for another example, they don't want you to wear heels because you will mm. end up being taller than them. If you dress one way, they want you to now be dressed up like a nun versus the, Ooh. uh, you know, showing it or asking anything. They don't, they want you to change everything there is about what makes you, you. Um, what we call gaslighting is, is a term where a person will do things to make you feel as though you are crazy. And they will uh, make you feel like you are absolutely losing your mind by making you think that something is there that's not. So an example of that, they, they could say, who moved my keys? And the keys were never in, in the area, but you are to blame for everything that goes wrong. They blame you for everything. Another thing that and you mentioned the term narcissist. A narcissist is the one that will make you feel as though you are less than anything. Absolutely. They will do what they can to uh, just make you feel as though you're never right. You're always wrong, and they're they're always right. I'm Every sure. in any anything they'll start arguments with you for no reason and they'll do things of like like that just to make you feel completely numb you 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 mm. begin to get numb but you feel as though you are not even in the room because nothing you do is right and you know it, it's subtle and it happens over time because in the beginning they'll treat you like a princess and a queen Absolutely. and that that fairy tale that romance, the whirlwind romance will eventually turn sour and now all of a sudden that's how they begin to, you know, grab your attention. They grab your attention in the honeymoon phase of the relationship mm. and then they'll turn that honeymoon into a absolute nightmare for you. All, ex wow. all cases are not extreme, but there again, those are just subtle things that will happen over a period of time. And then as you begin to see and, and realize these things. But one of the biggest things is someone that's never wrong. Someone that is, you know, they're, they're always right about everything and, un and unapologetic. They're unapologetic about the things that they've done wrong to you. If they do something wrong to you, they, um, if, and in the event they apologize, repeat that same bad or negative behavior. Yes, ma'am, Mrs. V. And it's very important for us as believers, and you're so right, ma'am, it's very important for us believers to ask God to teach us how to discern. That's one of the most uh, important spiritual aspects, how to discern, just as you are sent on tonight. How to discern, how to watch out, how to look for this thing. Hey, Amen. How to speak light, Mrs. V. You're saying, you're saying it so powerfully on tonight. I'm going to ask everyone to please go out and get this book, Shifted Masterpiece. Hey, Amen. It's very important for us believers, us believers, even in relationships, to ask God to teach us how to discern whether certain behavior, Mrs. V, or teaching is right or wrong. And mature, and then mature in that spirit. You, narcissism, real quickly, and we'll we move on. It's not a biblical term. Narcissism is not in the Bible. However, right. just to kind of point out to our listeners on tonight, it is a sense of wanting. That person has a sense of wanting or have a entitlement. They want entitlement. Yes, entitlement. By, That's yes. Amen. Yeah. Favorable treatment. That's another one, isn't it, Mrs. B? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah. Listening audience, y'all can help us. Y'all can y'all can come on and chime in on us. Y'all can write some of this stuff down in your queue. Just go back. Just 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 help us out. Amen. Favorable treatment. That's what they want. False promises, controlling the mind. And make you feel worthy of certain positions and then mentally turning on them. Their opinion is the only opinion. Isn't that right, Miss V? That's correct. Taking advantage it, of others, that sounds familiar? Correct. Taking advantage Highly. of other people. Yes. Go ahead, Miss V. Come on, talk. Yeah, you were doing just fine with it, rolling off the list of different signs and warnings of people that mm -hmm. 
again, do what they can to exert their power over you. And they'll mm-hmm. do it um, in, in various ways. One other piece that I want to uh, address is the spiritual and financial abuse that people will have. So when spiritual mm-hmm. abuse, that's when you have someone that um, makes you feel as though you're not the angel that you think you are, you know, that you and that you are not good enough for God. God doesn't want you. You are mm-hmm. a sinner. And even though you're not doing anything wrong, you you are living a great life. You're doing everything right as far as what you know is to be the right thing, and you love the Lord, but they will make you know that you don't love them enough. <laughs> Absolutely. That, spirit, that is spiritual abuse. You don't read the Bible enough. You don't pray enough. You don't mm. study the Word enough. You don't go to church enough. It, wow. It's always something wrong with what you're doing. That spiritual abuse in your walk with God is not enough. And that's when that person is telling, saying, saying to you, but it's not true. If any of your listeners are, are listening and you hear this and you're experiencing this, it's not true, and you have to realize and understand that God made you, and he created created you, and he would not put more on you than you can bear. You, he, he knows you. Continue to pray. Continue to seek his face in all things that happen. All, all things, all things that happen, even though you're going through the storm right now, mm-hmm. there is peace and there is favor and blessings on the other side. Um, we have a domestic violence hotline. The national number for if you're experiencing domestic violence is 1-800-799-SAFE. Again, that's one 800 Seven nine nine safe S A F E. Uh, and with the, when you call that number, the advocates on the other side of the line will answer and help you escape safely. They'll help you prepare an escape plan and get out of the uh, circumstances in a safe manner. That's the key word, is safely. You can leave, but their job is to help you do so in, in a, so that you remain safe, you and your, and your children. You and your children can get out if you're in a in a in a, a physically abusive uh, environment now, and you want to get out. Call that number, and they will provide you with immediate assistance. Now, we just talked about spiritual abuse. Okay. The other one that I want to touch up on was financial abuse. Financial okay. abuse is when a person takes control of over all money. Come on, sister. As an example, I, uh, my, my, ex, my abuser and I made about the same amount of money, and, uh, which was a great thing for us, I thought, when we got married, because we should have been able to live a great life of comfort. Come on, Come on sister. He controlled all of the finances, not in a way in which we uh, were able to flourish with the finances. The finances were controlled. So by the end of our relationship, I was paying all of the bills. I was paying all of our household bills and some of his bills. What was he doing with his money? Someone answer that question for me. Share that with us. Yes, yeah, somebody share that answer. <laughs> somebody <laughs> share that answer with me. Because I don't know what happened to the money. Wow. All I know is that it's that's called financial abuse. It's when you have to go to your partner. Granted, you have a job. You have to go to your partner. This is an intimate partner, your husband, your boyfriend, someone you're intimate with. They have taken control of over all finance. You have to go to them and ask them for money for simple things. Hey, can I have some gas money? Can I have some money for the groceries? Can I have some money to get uh, one of the kids some shoes? Can I have, can I, ha- but you have a job. They, you have to ask permission, even though this is shared income and it's asking permission as in for simple and small things that are necessary. In my situation, it got so bad that I was uh, charging on my credit card groceries. Mm. You should only have to do that in an emergency situation. 
if you have your finances under control, we should have had our finances under control, but that's just it. He was controlling all of the money. So I wasn't able to have any wiggle room with with the funds that we had coming into the house. Wow. That That's an example of financial abuse. So if you're in a situation like that, that, that that's called abuse. When you have it to is. speak and ask. You know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to ask that much. I know you, it's great to have joint bank accounts, and I don't want to get into um, the different philosophies behind how to manage your money as a couple, but when someone is, exert, is using money as a form, a method of power, and watch this. Mm-hmm. One, the, the power that, you, that they have over you at that point is one that will prevent you from being able to up and leave whenever you want. You'll mm-hmm. always have to go to that person to seek permission to leave the house. You'll never wow. have enough money if you need to get to a hotel or to escape safely, and you, you won't have that money available because all resources that, that you have that you thought you had, where's where the money? How are you going to get out? That's when you're going to have to have help outside of your home. Someone is going to have to help you mm, because it's absolutely. not something that you'll be able to do alone unless you go to the abuser who has all the, <laughs> the abuse and yes, the money. Ma'am. Absolutely. Mrs. V, God has, God has anointed you, ma'am. He has anointed you. He has, he has placed a powerful anointing on you and he has revealed to you that many believers have been severely and mentally traumatized. And yeah. displaced, ma'am, by deceptive and manipulative, as I chose the word earlier, narcissistic, is spiritual warfare. And the abusive and this dysfunctional control over those who sometime have position of authority, whether it's in the church, whether it's in your home, but in your case, amen, in the relationship, and even on the job, amen. And what, what yeah. I'm hearing is God has empowered you, amen, to uh, share not only with the listeners, but I like the way you started this off, amen. It is almost as if this time and this moment right now was ordained, amen. You're, hey, you're basically sharing with the listening audience that the post-traumatic paralyzed, that, that, that pain, you can overcome it. Hey, That's man, right. That, that paralyzed, homeless. That's another book of mine. Homelessness in the church. Spiritual homeless. You can overcome this, ladies and gentlemen. But it's what she's saying on tonight. It is sometime carried, amen, into the next person, into that child, into, into other relationships. And it can do that real easy on into, amen, other things, but sometimes never recovering, amen. We, we want y'all to go get that book. We, y'all y'all got to get this book. This is a powerful book. I got a feeling it's, I, I have a feeling it's going to touch millions of people. We want this book to go number one. We want it to be, we want it, if it hasn't already, amen. We want it to be a bestseller. <laughs> Hey man, we praise speaking God. life over that. Mrs. B, we're gonna take a hey man, praise God. We're gonna take a song break. Somebody out there has said, Hey man, the Lord is my shepherd. He is. Stephen Marshall, yes, amen. Is. Shout out to him. He is our shepherd, amen. Yes, and he is. Amen. He he leadeth us beside still waters, and that's what he has done for you. I want to give another shout out to Jerry Royce, amen, for having you on this show. Amen. Thank and you, just, Jerry. Yes, praise God. Thank you, Jerry. Amen. This is what it's all about. Our authors, amen, have a powerful testimony. We're going to take a song break. And on the other side of the song break, on the second half, we want to talk about, we want you to share with us about this, you know, your your chemistry education and your youth empowerment. Amen. Will you do that for us? Praise God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 (laughs) Hallelujah. Amen. Robot, can you help us, amen, with the uh, song, amen? We'll be right back after station identification. Right. You're listening to Dear Smile Worldwide Podcast. Hey, 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 my name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Prozive Power 21, Jerry was live worldwide. Eres 
us not be ashamed to ask the good Lord to walk with us. In every situation, whatever you may be going through, don't be ashamed to ask the good Lord to walk with you. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Walk with me while I'm on this tedious journey. I want Jesus to walk with me. Anybody out there want Jesus to walk with you? Anybody out there want Jesus to touch them early in the morning, late in the evening? Amen. Anybody want Jesus to walk with them? Amen. Welcome back, amen, to 
fastest time, amen, international teaching Bible college, amen, right here on Jerry Royce Live, amen, worldwide Christian media. We have with us, amen, tonight a very special guest, and she's preaching on tonight, y'all, amen. She's a global mo- model, if you all are just tuning in with us, a global model, a global model amen. Her powerful words are the more we speak life, the more we receive positive Amen. Outcomes manifested in all of our situations. Speak life. Amen. She's a sincere, sincere servant, Lord, whose message is, again once is speak life, not strife. She's the author, and I want y'all to go get this book. Amen. Go out there and get this book. Support her on this shifted masterpiece. And she also lead, left y'all with a powerful number of power for those who are uh, may be experiencing domestic abuse or domestic hotline number is 1-800-799-SAFE, S-A-F-E, 1-800-799-SAFE. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, amen. Welcome back. Amen. Here with us, Mrs. V. Mrs. V, what's, what's going on tonight? Who are some of your supporters out there tonight? Amen. Some of your supporters who uh, have been with you on this on this ride, amen, uh, on this journey of, I would have to say, man, of a powerful, amen, uh, mighty woman of God, a powerful emergence to where you are. Give a shout out to, to those who are, you know, that, that help you in your down moments, ma'am. Oh, wow. In my down moments. Wow. Yes, ma'am. That's... Who was there with you, ma'am? Number one, number one was my mother. My mother oh, is my best God. friend. And oh, yeah. had it not been my for my mother to tell me just one thing, she said to me, I, I said to her, you know, she said, you need to go to the hospital. And I'm trying to not go to the hospital. And she said, um, you need to go. And she finally convinced me by saying this because I asked her, what should, what do I tell them when I get there? Because I was so embarrassed. You know, I'm, I have blood running and pouring down my face. Mommy, I don't want to go. I'm, 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 I'm more embarrassed. I'd rather endure this pain than go to the hospital. What do I say to them when I get there? She said the truth, because the truth will set you free. Amen. And th- those words right there from my mother is what saved my life. Those words are what kept me going and made me realize and understand that this secret that I'm keeping inside and bottled up inside of me, not wanting to share with anyone because of my embarrassment and because of my shyness and not wanting to bring and, and also aiding in the process of sweeping things under the rug. But she said, the truth shall set you free. And that's where I found my new life of freedom. Mm, so my, my mother is my number one fan. Um, I have a nine-year-old son, and I also have my siblings that were all, all, all there for me. Um, I have older, they're all older than I am. So you can only imagine the, the oh. intensity of, of the, and the closeness that we um, would share during those moments. But they all came to my immediate rescue. So it was my my immediate family surrounded themselves around me to offer me all of the assistance and support that I that I needed, and some some other friends as well. But the, that immediate um, relief came from my best friend, who was my mother. She is absolutely my strongest uh, supporter that walks on the face of this earth. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Shout out to your mother, your dear mother, and your son as well. Praise yes. God. That is awesome. Amen. No, there's no love like a mother's love, ma'am. There's no no, no love like a no, Amen. Mrs. Not. Hallelujah. Amen. Mrs. P, amen. Share with our listeners, audience, amen, your your powerful youth uh, empowerment program. And I understand you were you were an educator in chemistry. Hey, man, this is your show, ma'am. Talk to us. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, bless you. Yeah, so I was in the classroom for quite a few years. 
back in Savannah, Georgia, actually. Shout out to the Savannah Chatham County Public School System. <laughs> I was there for three years in, in, in the system, and I taught chemistry, applied physics, pre-algebra, and, and algebra. And during, during those those years, I was just fresh out of college. I graduated college early. I was only 20 years old when I graduated from college, and uh, during those that time period, you know, me going back into the classroom in an urban uh, one, one of the urban in, a, in an urban setting, it, I was taken back because some of the kids were the same age as me, you know, and that's when I realized, you know, I want to give them more. There's there's more work for me to do, so I I wanted to have more experience in the real world. I, I graduated college and went straight into the classroom. Um, I left the classroom and wow. began uh, an assignment in a laboratory, and that's where I realized, okay, now I feel I have a lot more to take back into the classroom. I am still in uh, corporate America, um, and my what I do now, I've just coupled all of the years that I've been able to train others and offer that background in, in chemistry and in support oh. via the laboratories that I've worked in and also in the office, our professional environment settings that are settings that I've worked in. That's where I've coupled all of that experience into what I do now with the youth. And my niece, I want to give a shout-out to She Farrell. She's a spoken word artist. She's the one that's inspired me to do some of the work that we have here in the community, here in the greater Atlanta metropolitan area. Every first uh, Saturday of the month, we host an open mic in Lilburn, Georgia, at a Taste of Paradise restaurant. It's uh, 4805 Lawrenceville Highway in Lilburn, Georgia. We host this open mic, and that's where we have an opportunity to raise and lift our voices in a creative way. This is where we have our spoken word artists, hip-hop artists, musical artists, all to come and bless the mic in a special way. We, we do it to raise awareness to domestic violence, and, you know, October is Domestic Violence Month, but this is where you learn a snippet about domestic violence every month. It does because it doesn't go away. It's just like Black History Month, which is every day. So we want to teach and educate others about it every day. And this is the platform that anyone has to come and express themselves. You know, yeah. oftentimes we keep so much stuff bottled up inside of us, but for that artist that's mm. inside of you are, for that artist that is bottled up on the inside but kind of wants to come out, this is the perfect place to come and, and share those words, share your thoughts uh, through words, through song, uh, any, any form of expression. It could even be through comedy, but in, what our job is to do is just to leave the audience um, uplifted in a positive way as we come and bless the bless the mic on first Saturday for our open mic. It's seven thirty to ten o'clock PM on Saturday, first Saturday. This month we actually have the amazing Moody Black. He's a spoken word artist hailing from Greenville, South Carolina that will come and bless the mic for us on this month. So we're excited about that. About the yeah. Moody Black. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Mrs <laughs> Mrs. Uh, v go ahead and give a shout Shout out to the uh, Mrs. Monique Washington. Miss Monique help. Washington, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Monique Washington, that's my friend. She's a strong supporter. She is also an author. I'm going when when we're all done. I'm not looking at the Facebook because I didn't want any feedback coming into the line. Okay, so I just, ma'am. I just we, hear we got you. you. A big we got shout awesome out to Miss Monique Washington <laughs> and everyone else that's on the line watching and listening to us. Anyone catching this on replay? We bless you. We thank you for coming out to support us on on tonight. But check out Monique Washington's book. We'll drop in the feed how you can touch base with her. She's an amazing author, and she's also one of service. She's a, she's a, she is one that is, is a helper. She has a spirit of service, 
and oh, will absolutely help anyone in need. So bless you, Monique, for being on the line with us tonight. We thank you and we love you so much. Amen. And to everyone Praise else God. that has a chance to listen. Yes, oh. sir. Thank you for letting me know she was there. Yeah, we, hey, man, we just giving that shout out to our producer. He's an awesome man of God out there. Jerry Roy's Batman. He yes, Jerry Roy. What's going on. Thank you so much, <laughs> Jerry Roy. Hey, man. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stephen Marshall, amen. We'd like to give him a shout out. I'd like to uh, take a minute, amen, just to give a quick shout out to Mr. Denny Jenkins for supporting us on a, a powerful book out there, one of my books, uh, Mrs. Yes, sir, Batman. Amen. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Denny Jenkins. He did purchase a book very similar to your topic, what you're talking about, Mrs. B. Amen. But I don't want to take away from that. Just want to acknowledge him, amen, for picking up that book, Homelessness in the Church. And what I would like Bless to do, you. Mrs. B, I would like to say, I would like to for you to remind me or just send me your next or I, I would say at the top of the year that would give me some time to plan, you know, appropriately. Amen. I'm trying to hook up with a man, my producer, Jerry Royce, a man out there in Baltimore so we can do some uh, uh, recording for my international Bible college. But I want to I want to collaborate with you with yes, our sir. books, our books are more or less of a paradigm for what you're yes. speaking of. I'm talking about your books and my books. I want to sit down with you and we want to do this thing. Amen. Pastor's time, turn your trials into victory, homelessness in your ch- in the church. Those are powerful books that talk about what you're speaking of, but it also gives educational, amen, and uh, powerful advice. Amen. But on tonight, we yes. want this book to go number one, Shifted Masterpiece. Shifted Masterpiece. Y'all go out there and get this book. Amen. Please go out there and get this book. This powerful book. Amen. And you also are a great supporter of domestic violence. Have you all, all, all already shared that with us? And at risk youth. At risk youth. At Amen. Risk, that's right. Yes, ma'am. Praise God. You speak you speak in life. You are agent. You are change agent. Amen. Who teaches life skill. Ladies and gentlemen, she is she is all over the place. This is just this is just <laughs> uh, um, this is really uh I would say my wife and I we would love Amen to like I said to sit down with you Amen. Can you uh share with we where, where can we pick up I should say where can we find you at where like your link yes, so sir. they can you know yeah. just pick up some of your product. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So I am on all social media platforms. You'll find me as V Speak Life. It may be V-E-E or just the letter V Speak Life. That's S-P-E-A-K-L-I-F-E. And my website will direct you to all of the social media platforms that you can find me, all of the books that we have, the workshops that we have, open mic, and also if you need any small business development or personal development assistance that information is there and also i do uh video production for people so if you have a small business you need a little assistance with your marketing or social media we have links right there and you can find all that information at www.vspeaklife.com that's the letter v s p e a k l i f e dot Com. And I look forward to hearing from each and every one of you. You have questions, comments, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. Inbox me. Message me. I will respond as soon as I can. You can also drop me a, a call at the number is area code 678 Four zero four nine zero five one for any uh, booking or questions that you have. Any any questions? Call me up and I'll be happy to answer your questions. More you'll also find more information about our nonprofit and the assistance that we offer to survivors and at risk youth. There again, it's more on the level of academic and career support, referral services, empowerment seminars, workshops, and training for domestic violence survivors and at-risk you to make you feel like you never have to go back into those circumstances again. That's www.shiftedmasterpiece.org. We're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. It's where the canvas is unleashed and the masterpiece is revealed. That's www.shiftedmasterpiece.org. 
dot o r g. So everything's there between that website and vspeaklife dot com. You'll find me. Hallelujah! You will find her. Y'all, y'all yes. heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all will find her. <laughs> yes. Yes. Monique, yes. Miss Monique Wild. You make sure you take her out now to a, a nice dinner or something, amen. She's on fire, amen. I, I, my wife amen. and I, Praise Kelly, God amen. Monique Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We, we love this type of ministry, amen, literally for those who are doing those positive things for the community, not only the community, but for the nation, amen. A lot of our books, amen, are, are being looked at and imbued and um captured overseas in that UK area and awesome. uh, Great Britain. That's why I want to push. I want to push this book. I want to push your book, ma'am. That this Thank masterpiece. You. Real quickly, hey, amen, before we, I want you to close it out in prayer. Shifted masterpiece has a spiritual I, I, you know, as a pastor, a leader, a man of, of uh, theology, that shifted masterpiece talk with us. It sounds like paradigm. You know how God shifted his his spirit, amen, to kind of show us not only is he in front of us, but he's also in the back of us. How, where, where did God, how did he reveal to you this shifted masterpiece title? You know, I thought of the different things that occurred. You know, we have, that's a big question. Let me see if I can summarize that for you. The, the basic premise is, the a premise on this, concept of shifted. It means change. It means metamorphosis. It means transition. It means you are not who you once were. It means you are a new creature. It means that you are going somewhere above and beyond the circumstances that you were in because God came in to shift the atmosphere. He shifted the atmosphere to take you into a safe place. And he was going to remind you that you are a masterpiece. You know, we listen and we hear the words of Jeremiah. In Jeremiah, we know that before he said, before I formed you in the womb, I I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And, you know, what an awesome thought is that. God said that before he formed Jeremiah in his mother's womb, he knew him. He chose Jeremiah. God separated him from everyone else to perform a specific task, and he consecrated him for that purpose. And so when we get, and we can be sure that if God did that for Jeremiah, what? Yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, he can do it for each and every one of us. As a matter of fact, the Apostle Paul said he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we would be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us to adoption as sons through Ooh. Jesus Christ to himself, according to the kind intention of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, which his freely he freely bestowed on us and the beloved. Nothing about us on our or on our circumstances surprises God. He knew about everything before we were born. Shifted masterpiece. And he ordained that we should walk in those ways because we are uniquely qualified by him to do so. He approved us because he chose us for our specific situation. And he also equipped us for every trial. Every trial, every trial, yes, yes, amen. I think we lost her, amen. Every trial, and I know just where she was going, amen. Every trial, every trial, amen, is meant for a test. Every storm, amen, is meant, amen, for God to bring us through. Every trial, amen, God sends us. It's the test of our faith. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard Mrs. V, amen. The devil doesn't get anything for on this tonight, amen. God got us because I was right there with us. Somebody has been going through a trial, amen. If she comes back in, we're going to let her close out with a prayer. She left, she left off by saying every trial, every trial is a test. 
every yes, trial. Yes, sir, I understand. Come on. I'm right here. Yeah, That's all I right, just, sir. The last thing I want to say is that we serve an awesome God. Yes. What an awesome God we serve. So awesome. you're ready to close out in prayer? Amen. Yes, ma'am. Just want to leave a final thoughts. So you just stay right there. Oh, we had you, sister. We got we got you back, sister. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise Rivers. God. Psalms three, amen. Uh, someone text that out on the show. I think it was Stephen Marshall. Yea, thou walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. I will fear no evil. Amen. Andre, Andre Crouch, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, listeners and viewers, amen. I felt his spirit on tonight through this powerful vessel, the great anointed Arthur, Mrs. V. I've had many tears and sorrow. That's what Andre Crouch said. I've had yeah. questions for tomorrow. And somebody out there may be saying in their heart tonight, amen, but there have been times where they didn't know right from wrong. But in every situation, God would give you blessed consolation to let your trials come to only make you strong. In other words, Mrs. V was saying on tonight, through it all. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned. Yes, Yes, go on, sister. Go on and say that. Amen. I learned to depend upon his word. Amen. I've been, amen, a lot of places. I've seen a lot of faces. And there have been times when I felt so all alone. But in my lonely hour, yes, those precious lonely hours, Jesus let me know that I was his own through it all. Mrs. V, you told somebody tonight to thank God for the mountains and thank yes. them for the valleys. That's yes. where you've been, ma'am. You yes. thanked him for the storms, amen, that he brought you through. Oh, God. Yes, ma'am. We both will be crying on tonight. You go on and pray, ma'am. Go on and close us out, amen. amen. Go on and pr- close us out tonight, amen. Go amen. ahead, ma'am. Well, God, we thank you for watching over us day and night. No matter where we are, we thank you for attending to our wounds and guarding us and building us back up for the challenges that we face in life. When we are lost and we need only listen for the voice of our shepherd, Lord, you are our shepherd. We shall not want. Teach us, Lord, to be still in your green pastures and to drink of your quiet waters. Please, God, restore our soul. Because, God, you said that weeping may endure for a night, but joy, joy, God, comes in the morning. So we thank you, Heavenly Father, even though we often may feel as if our night season will never end. We thank you for the hope you, of a new beginning, of a new season of life. God, we thank you that no trial lasts forever. God, we thank you for this wonderful platform that you have established here. We thank you for the good doctor and Dr. Mr. Jerry Royce for allowing us all to be in this place and in your presence on tonight. Thank you for having them to usher in the Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for the wonderful audience. And for all the listeners that were able to join, we ask that you bless their homes on this night. And as they wake up and get ready to venture out on their endeavors, we just ask that you bless them and keep them. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. What a beautiful prayer. Amen. Thank you once again, anointed Arthur. Amen. Mrs. V. Amen. Share this file, amen, on tonight. Begin to share this if you're watching, amen. I'd like to thank a special pastor friend of mine, amen, Pastor Al Hall out there, amen. He succeeded me in my previous church out there in Lawton, Oklahoma, Pastor Al Hall. Thank you, my brother, for just, just you know, just kind of uh, tuning in on tonight. Amen. Stephen Marshall, Paula G. Amen. Thank you on tonight. Amen. A award-winning show. Amen. We thank everyone for tuning in. Amen. Thank a special shout out to our producer. Amen. Jerry Wards, Monique Washington. Thank you. Amen. All those, amen, Johnny Ross, all those who I don't know and know. Amen. We thank Dr. Marvin Smith. Amen. 
God bless you on tonight. Again, we love you. And catch us, amen. Catch Paula G, amen, and on late night, amen, on Friday nights. And don't forget next man up at 10, 10 p.m. And we like to cap this off, amen, with some powerful, powerful church at midnight. We call him the Christian party line with your whole Shea Sam, amen. Some powerful stuff going on. Y'all don't want to miss that. If you, if you ain't doing nothing late at midnight on Friday nights, Y'all, y'all check, check, check out that Christian party line. Amen. Yes. They're doing some powerful things out there on tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my time. Amen. I am your host. Amen. A uh, pastor's time. Mrs. Mrs. V, I want to ask you on tonight. Did you feel the power? Amen. I felt the power. And you I'm felt the power. the power. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I got Praise one more God. question. Amen. I got one more question for you, man. What time is it? You would say it's pastor's time. It's pastor's time. Hallelujah. It's time amen. to get your walk on, your testimony. God bless you on tonight. Amen. Go out there and support this great book once again. Amen. Shifted Masterpiece. Amen. And don't forget to support those other two books out there. Amen. Homeless is in the church. Amen. And pastor's time. Turn your trials into victory. Let's make this a bestseller. Come on. Shifted Masterpiece. This is my time. Dr. Paul Kelly. Amen. We'll see you on Friday night at 10 p.m. on Next Man up. Thank you and God bless you and God bless this country. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power A double XI. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, family, thank you so much for tuning in. It's Jerry Boy's Live Worldwide, a.k.a. the Batman of Charm City. Thank you, everybody. Please share the file. That's right, you can catch it on Spotify, iTunes, and iHeartRadio. Don't forget about Spreaker Radio. Please, y'all, invite people to come out. They save somebody. That's right, somebody going down. All right, don't forget Friday night. Friday night, the big night, starting at 10 o'clock. Next man up. Then you got Paula G with Jervis Live Worldwide at the late night. 11.30 and 12 o'clock, you got CPL, Christian Party Line with the Ladies of Radio. All right? So come on out and join us and have some fun. Don't forget to check out PastorsTime.com. You're looking for affordable, affordable college education. You know? Well, you know it. You got your doctorate. So come on out and check us out. Contact Dr. Kelly. Give you more information how you can enroll. It's going to be awesome, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving holiday. Enjoy your family or enjoy your community. Jerry Rose Live Worldwide. Get it, robot. You are listening to Jerry Rose Live Worldwide Podcast. Hi, this is Lady T, urban gospel artist from Jackson, Mississippi. You're listening to Positive Power, Double XI Christian Radio on Spreaker Radio and Facebook Live. So keep it locked. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide.